we would like to continue our lecture again to see the potential of microtool, something like that. This is all youth potential in irrigation channel. It's not used until now in Yogyakarta. You can see the, the potential is, I think, is four until five cubic meter per second. Four until five cubic meter per second. And the head, you can see from here to here is one half meter. From here to here, two meters. About yeah, we can say four meters. Yeah, four meters and four meters. Four times four, sixteen times five. Yeah. So we have. Uh, Almost 80 kilowatt from here. 80 kilowatt is used one of electric. Yeah. yeah, that's not used. Another irrigation channel here, we have also here. Here are some small irrigation channel. This is a bigger that I explained you. The irrigation channel uh, use 10 kilowatt here. Yeah. Here, there. Uh, no people making another channel here, but it's not work. It's wrong. So it is wrong. We have to bring back to the original design. The original design was by me, something like that. And people making another design, but it's not good because uh, it's too small. The channel, the side channel here, too small, so the water cannot flow. Yeah. And the. Gradient uh, of flow is also too too low, so it's not enough water flowing to the turbine. So this is the irrigation channel that we have already made. Uh, but the problem is, I saw you said to you, the problem is the electric production is not used until now. It's already four years. Yeah. This uh, powerhouse electric. Uh, is already working 100% 10 kilowatt production. A lot of people coming down here, a lot of students working in that place, but until now the electric production is not used. This is the problem of our era to develop microwave. How to use the electric production effectively now and in the future. Take so this is the calculation that we can also have written back period on the four years. Yeah. It's very nice actually. Yeah. It's not much. Yeah. 227 million rupees. And you can uh, have the capital and you have 62 million rupees per year. Then you have only four years maybe. It's good. This is what I want to explain you about potential of microhydro for water treatment plant in Sewan Bantu. We have made uh, that our plant and produce actually also 10 kilowatt, but because of the discharge is too low discharge, this boils can produce 2.5 kilowatt. Yeah, from the uh, water, excess water or release water from water treatment plant. The head from here to the end range, end tail range is about six meters. Six meters enough head actually. You can go there, very nice place there actually. But because of the utilization uh, after electric production is not managed well, so this port house is stopped, not working. Yeah, we think now how to uh, develop that kind of uh, activities around here. And uh, I think we have to invite the business people, local business people, to use first for about two years, three, the electric, and then after three years we can then sit down again and discuss again how about the future. Uh, 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 income for people around there or for government or living there, uh, for government, local government there. So it is also, we only need about uh, uh, 
100 yeah, and 2 million million rupees and the return back rate also 4 yeah, almost 4, 5, 3, 4, 5 uh, because we have this is very very good price here per kilowatt hours 1050 is very good price yeah, from PLA yeah. the problem is that we have to have a kind uh, a good quality of electric production stable electric production and I think that we have a good connection with PLN then PLN hopefully can, can buy our electrical uh, production okay so look at this here this is uh, very simple this is uh, in uh, installation of uh, water treatment plant in Sewa we have here the turbine often plant turbine here this is the generator yeah, and the water level here in upstream the water level, the water had different here about 6 meters until the terrace here before the water flows down to the river so it is easy that the water had here uh, 6 meters the water flows here, the turbine will run the propeller well run and then here coupled with the generator the generator produces electricity and the water flows down here back to the river this is the water, the waste water that's already a uh, treat it's treated, yeah, the water is treated all, yeah, I think I think it's better so yeah. uh, due to that kind of aeration yeah, turbine so the quality of water even better if you just release to the river the quality is okay but if you use for uh, running the turbine and also here there is also a ransom here aeration then you have more quality better quality than before and if you can imagine every district now have water traffic the water can be used for that kind of yeah. good. So here is a potential of micro hydro in long walk. You know here, yeah, here about six meter and uh, discharge about one cubic meter per second. We have we can develop here about thirty kilowatt actually, and here there are about twenty kilowatt in long walk. You can go back home and see uh, the area here and try to develop micro -hydro. but don't forget after construction you have yeah. electricity <laughs> what for? Uh, you have to make a sliding it's not only building but uh, using utilization of the electric whether you you can uh, sell the PLN but before you have to arrange first until you have agreement with PLN before you build agreement that the electric will uh, bought by will be bought by PLN. You have agreement with the price and so on and then okay will finish and sell it to PLN. Don't build before you are sure that you have a planning after building. Don't think that after building then you can think again. No, no. You have to make a planning after building. Good. This is a potential in the spring in Klaten, yeah, in district Klaten. We use the amount of water here. Yeah. We use the amount of water. You can even change the trace of water. The original trace, something like that. You can change in that place to get more air here. Actually, I think the, the discharge here more than 10 cubic meters per second or 6 minimum 6 cubic meter per second you can imagine that you can develop 6 cubic meter per second uh, in the head of uh, 5 yeah, 6 times 5 with 30 times 5 again 150 kilowatt yeah, electric and then we can always uh, every 1 kilometer get again and again yeah. but again the problem is how to use electric yeah, this is the problem 
This is also uh, the channel in uh, spring. Nilo Dalaman in Dalaman, Chukwacho. Yeah, you can see here about four or five meters, and here two cubic meters a second. Yeah, we just we can develop here forty kilowatt, here. forty kilowatt, or forty kilowatt. Yeah. Also here, yeah, this is about five meter. You can just make uh, the intake in that area more wider, then you get water, more water, and you can also produce electricity. Also here you can even have one place here, here for example, you can make a uh, uh, gate again, you can gate again, you can increase the water until 2 meter for example, or 1 half meter here, you have gate, then you have 3 meter here. For some study, a lot of things can we do. We can do here also. This is a very small spring in the uh, slope rat Pinokido. Yeah, we can develop 41 kilowatt. Yeah, 20 meter, 35 meter per second. Yeah, it's a good hand, very, very good. Yeah, if you see, oh, very, very good. Even the dish are only 35 meter per second. Yeah. This is from Spain. Yeah. Uh, the other potential that I want to explain to you is very huge amount of the potential is the PDRM distribution channel. Uh, not channel, but distribution pipe. Yeah. Look, for example, here PDRM in Gunung Gitu, we have a lot of system here. This is small system, system in Wolosari, system in Sorokwan, system in Brigwin, system in uh, Barwan, and system in Mubarak. Look, this is a system of PDRM, drinking water system. Here, small thing, here also, drinking water system. Every district is already a lot of system there. And what is interesting, like this, this is the system. Subsystem Mubarak, for example, subsystem Mubarak, Look, this is L5 Karam. Yeah. The system coming down here. The system coming down here again. The system coming down here. Yeah. Here, 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 there, there, here. The system here. Look, from L3, RT, and L2, you have elevation different. Yeah. Then, maybe you can. Uh, from here to here is here is pump is pumping or pumping again pumping but from here to here look you have a head different here the head different here is about yeah I don't know exactly but 360 to 340 about 18 on the 18 meter yeah you can develop here microwave yeah this is a water release chamber so the water flows here, then you can put the turbine here, finish, you can electric. And in another place, for example, here, for example, yeah, from here to here. So we just look the distribution system, and then we can find that is potential, that's potential, that is the potential. Even very small amount of water, for example, 20 liters per second, but if you have 100 different water, then you can develop a huge amount of electricity and for example you can also uh, use the electric production to pump the water from that place and fulfill more water here yeah give it more water here so you have additional water to do the hand yeah you can imagine if we are talking about the distribution water distributing drinking water distribution system from uh, Mountain Barabi, for example, to Yogyakarta. Here, Barabi is about uh, 2,900 meter. In Kalikunik, Kali where the spring Maton and spring Lana is about 2,500. Yeah. And then you have here in Yogyakarta is about 200. You can imagine about 2,000 
uh, different, 2,000 meter different. If every 100 meter you have a water in this chamber, pressure in this chamber, then you have 20 potential places to make microwave. Yeah. Of course, this is where you the one. If you go to Kaliuran and coming down here, you will find a lot of building. Tak pelepas tekan. The pressure from above, from the high head into there should be released. The pressure to be not a gel again. So they use tak pelepas tekan or pressure release chamber. Yeah. So the the pressure that you have is released, just released. You can put the turbine there that you have electric. This is the concept. This is only in one place in Tulum, in the law in Georgia. You have more uh, about 400 districts in Indonesia. Yeah, you can go to Jakarta, Bogor, Malang, yeah? uh, and also Banjarmasin, and then you can go to Celebes, Sumatra, uh, to Makassar, and so on. Then you will find uh, water distribution, yeah. and you get it. You will get it. Yeah, this is pumping, this is pumping, so this is pumping, but another pumping, yeah, the red one, the red one here is the releasing distribution. Yeah. This is the distribution too. So you have water, you have enough, uh, you have enough potential in that place, isn't it? Pumping, of course, pumping from underground river, you need power. But then you can also get power again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, look at this, from here to here. You can have more power again, from here to here. Yeah, the power that you need before to pump from here to upstream there, this uh, air for Karan, so that you have one place again, one place here, and the other place is here, for example. Yeah. Of course, you have again here from here to here, from here to here, you have. Yeah. So, <clears throat> it is nice to see. Look at this here from here to here. Yeah. You just see. Uh, the different, the head different between that place and that place. Yeah. Then you can use for uh, uh, development of microwave from here, for example, to here. Yeah. And here, of course, you have to calculate also that the water can flow. Not all of what the use, all of head use is used, could be, cannot. So you have to uh, give uh, a certain head to make sure that the water flows, can flow down. And then in the chamber, water is chamber, you can put the micro in there. Yeah. Uh, in uh, Germany, Japan, and also in the uh, developed country, this kind of technique to get the energy back from distribution chamber, uh, distribution uh, pipe is already developed there and in which has not developed. So this is a potential that we can also have in the future. Good. For example, subsystem baron again here. Pumping. You need energy to pump. Okay. Pumping again. Yeah. This is not pumping distribution. You do not need energy. Pumping again and again. Yeah. So, then maybe you, this is pump under here and distribute again. This is two pipe here. So then you have also maybe a place where you can put microwave in that place. This depends on the head. If not enough head, you cannot use, but if there is enough head, you can use. Yeah. Good. <coughs> System breathing. Oh, 
you can see here pumping again always with pumping because in, this is in the area where the water is always underground in Gunung Bidul underground even they pump up again uh, first and then distribute first look again here here from here to here yeah. from here to here you can produce electric here's water in this chamber here water from here coming down here yeah. here you have here for example 370 uh, 27 here 381 yeah you have about 550 50 uh, meter water different from here to here this is electric yeah. and then again here from here to here ah okay uh, <clears throat> generally I would like to show you in the uh, drinking water distribution pipe you can find a lot of potential micro hydro and you can also use that for uh, generating electric and give it back again to the uh, PDI or distribution unit okay so <clears throat> that was the potential in irrigation channel, in river, in springs, and also in uh, distribution, uh, with taking water distribution. How about the potential in the whole Indonesia? In the whole Indonesia like that. Here we have Sumatra, Java, Kalimantan, Celebes, and Papua here, and also Nusa Tenggara, Papua. I would like only tell you our investigation to enterprise the 10 provinces in Indonesia. Here is uh, Sumatra Utara, yeah. here is Padang, Lampo, Jambi, uh, Sumatra Selatan, here is Lampo, West Java, Middle Java, <coughs> East Java, and here. Uh, South Sulawesi, South Sulawesi, South Sulawesi. Look at this. Okay, <coughs> this is the calculation. It's not important again here. I just uh, I hope it's not back. Okay. Okay, that was uh, in the wrong direction. I look at the. Uh, Okay. <coughs> Look, this is Sumatra, Sumatra. Do we have also? Yeah. Look at this, we have much more. Oh. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, <coughs> basin, river basin. For example, river basin Alasinkil, river basin uh, Bah Bolon, and so on, the 10 river basin. This is the irrigation channel. Yeah, there are irrigation. This is a, has a center uh, in the uh, center government. Yeah, this is irrigation. And every irrigation area, you will find a channel. And every channel, you will find a drop. Yeah, for example, here, yeah. uh, <coughs> irrigation area, Sira Sira, by Asorda in Lanka. The total area is 5,521. Yeah. And the other is something like that. Yeah. And we have uh, dam, we have a lot of dam also. And every dam, Sigura Gura for example, for PLTA, the dam also has irrigation channel and the irrigation channel has drop waterfall. We can use it. Yeah. You the more of now, this is the existing CLDMH or microhydro in Sumatra Utara. There is Poho, 200 kilowatt. Batang Gadis, 550. You, the model, where the MH that's already installed there. Yeah. 
Di BLDM High in Indonesia is um, enormous. So there will be a lot of um, funding institutions who would like to come to Indonesia to fund the uh, energy development. Maybe in 20, uh, 50 years, Indonesia will become uh, a country with uh, with the uh, highest uh, highest production of renewable energy from hydro power. Yeah. Look here, yeah, we can then develop it's not only one. We can actually in that place can develop again, again and again. Uh, we have also uh, in Kuala Bulu, for example, Angkat in the river, 874 kilowatt, 1990 inch per. Yeah. So we have already start from almost uh, 20, 30 years ago. How about in Panam? Sumatra Barat. Yo, I think Sumatra Barat has a huge amount of micro hydro. This is the uh, river basin area for river basin area. It's also irrigation area. Uh, a lot of irrigation area here mean. Yeah. For example, the irrigation area Batahan 6.246. Yeah, hectare, you can imagine 6,000 hectare. How many irrigation kilometer of irrigation channel around there? Yeah, and Padang is the huge countryside, is a hilly area. So I think every one kilometer you will have a drop again and again and again, and you can develop in that irrigation channel. How about the lake and the lake Sinkara, for example, is already developed. No, not yet. Uh, the area of the lake is 13,000. The volume of water is 1.656 uh, million cubic meter. Uh, so we can actually use for micro hydro, for hydro for planting all of uh, lake. Of course, we use, uh, we can use, but we have to think also, I said to you, the catchment area of the lake should be also short. So the money that you get from my grid should be 10%, 15% uh, for maintaining the catchment area. Otherwise, you will have a problem. How about the dam, small dam? We can also use the small dam for drinking water also, can be used for. Uh, micro hydro. Of course, we have to go there to see, to find out the potential around the gap. Yeah. Yeah. The existing micro hydro is already in the month. For example, here in Nalau Gada, 40 kilowatt, yeah. 1997 built. Yeah. In another place, for example, in Sumpur Kudus, 30 kilowatt. So don't worry about my hydro. We have already a lot of my hydro around Indonesia. So, but we have to produce people always produce people to understand my hydro to keep that my hydro not problem. Yeah. If we do not produce human resources to handle the my hydro, maybe in 20 years after the people is already in function then nobody care again. So we have always purchase people to understand micro to, to take care, to keep, to develop micro Yeah, here for example, another place in Kabupaten Agam, on lake, we have Sungai Buar, 60 kilowatt, we have also Telago, 2 kilowatt, even on the 2 kilowatt, it's no problem. We have also Tanggiran Bawah, 20 kilowatt, 200 each. So, if you see the development of micro hydro, it's nice because 203 is building, 205, 207, it, it means the development of building is good. Yeah. We hope that all not only the development of building, but the utilization also good also. Uh, Sumatra Barat again and again Sumatra Barat is very famous for micro hydro. A lot of places already developed micro. Yeah, in Sumatra Barat. 
Uh, here is uh, some photos potentially in Sumatra Barat. You can see here, there, 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 here. Yeah. <coughs> and uh, how about in Sumatra Selatan? In, in uh, uh, Sumatra Selatan, South Sumatra, Palembang. Look at this. Yeah. Here is the irrigation channel. Irrigation area, always, every province there's already developed irrigation channel. And irrigation channel means migratory potential. Yeah. Why irrigation channel is uh, a potential, a good potential? Because the civil work is already there. You should not make a dam. You just have a, a waterfall, and in the other side, you can develop power house, and you can purchase migratory. Yeah. In Sumatra Selatan, we have also already several uh, micro hydro that is already developed here. Yeah. In Lampung too, oh. we have also in Lampung. Look at this in Lampung. We have the Simpang Luas, 231 kilowatt. We have also Bandar Masing. 32 kilowatt, 1998. So 1994 and 55 five, five That means the development is always every year. We develop my Yeah. To West Java, we have also Chitanao, Chucho. Irrigation West Java, Chitao. We have uh, uh, irrigation area here, a lot of irrigation area. I mean, we have. Uh, you know, one of potential that we can use in Jawa Barat. Yeah. Irrigasi uh, Cimano, we have also a lot of irrigation area here. Cikusi, Cirebon, we have 6,000 hectare. Yeah. Citanui, for example, irrigation area Lakpok Selatan, we have uh, 28,000. Hectare. You can imagine how many channels you have and drop you have there. Uh, you can use that for micro hydro. Actually, actually, yeah. But the problem is how to use that and so to develop the electric after. How about Middle Java? So one by one, I just want to show you that we have actually a lot of place and a lot of potential. So then you have motivation to solve the problem. Yeah, solve the problem. Jawa Tengah, yeah, Cimano, Citanui, Kemarin Juana, Serayu Upak, Mangan Solo. Irrigation, we have also a lot of irrigation here. Tuk Puni, Klaten, 264 hectare, but we have here Serayu in Banjar Negara. We have 20,000 hectare. Can you see here in Ban Banyumas, Cilacap, Kabume, a lot of uh, waterfall from irrigation channel that you can use for migrating. Banjar Chayana, if you go to Banjar Negara, you can find a lot of place. Uh, even then, you can also modify the irrigation channel to have more water and to have more uh, head. In final week that I explained you, Mataram, Sleman, Kota Yogyakarta, 5,000, only 5,000, we can already more than 10 potential of my group, only 5,000. And you can imagine 31,000, how many potential you will get there in Banjar Cahyana or in Wadu Wadu Slinta. Yeah, so this is all the potential that we have. Jawa uh, Tengah, so I just uh, click and you can see a lot of potential here and also micro hydro that already developed in Paman, for example, we have micro hydro at 5 meter, we have 39.1 kilowatt here. Yeah. Uh, uh, in Pongo, only 0.532 cubic meter per second, but we can produce 11.731 yeah, potential. So, how about in Celebes? 
and celibacy, soul celibacy, yeah? soul celibacy. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, we have also we yeah, have our project now, 2006. We have irrigation channel. We use the form of irrigation channel here, irrigation area. For example, here Tabu Tabu. Yeah, H.H. Yeah, uh, 9.4. Yeah, good. That means in that location, you can also find out the potential of micronutrients and soil cellulose. Uh, the student who come from soil cellulose can uh, can use that uh, uh, data and try to have more information about the potential of micronutrients. Yeah. yeah. Sulawesi Selatan potensi sekunder kita pada tanah Toraja, from river, 42 kilowatt already developed in tanah Toraja, and Palembang, tanah Toraja also from river, 46.62 kilowatt. So look at this here. This is the microgrid has already developed, were already developed in Sulawesi Selatan. And there is still much more potential there that we can develop again for fulfill the electric production. Yeah. Good. Here in uh, Sikunto, Lokasi Moro, from River, 105 kilowatt. Yeah. This is a potential, not developed yet. This is identification potential. Then you can go there and see and uh, try to discuss about the people. So now what is actually the criteria for uh, uh, <clears throat> location that can be developed for migratory? First you have to have a technical criteria and demography and topography. Demography criteria mean there is a people need there. There is a village there, there is a community there, and topography. It is important, it is difficult topography to reach or not, or it is too far that we can develop, we cannot develop easier. And economic criteria that mean uh, how it is uh, possible after you build, you can produce, uh, you can develop into small and medium enterprise or something else. And what is about ecology? It is a catchment area whether the catchment area is good or not. If the catchment area is not good, you have to develop the catchment area. If the catchment area is already good, you have to give the catchment area to spend all the money for catchment area. And then also the direct uh, benefit for the people living there. So, I think um, our lecture today is done. And I hope that we can continue next week the lecture for uh, topics. And I will keep you uh, us to go to Sepa Bartol to see the micro in uh, in uh, PIPA or water treatment plant in uh, Sepa. And I hope that you can see what condition they are there. And you, uh, next week you can report us about that point. Thank you very much for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay.